EKU lost the season opener at Purdue last weekend. Tonight it was the home opener against U Pike at Roy Kidd Stadium. No Maddie Mock or Benny Coney behind center for this one, both nursing injuries. As you can see, Mock and Coney padless, just chilling on the sideline. But the good news is they're still throwing football. So Tyler Swafford gets the start and promptly coughs it up on the one yard line. Bears recover. Later, though, Swafford redeeming himself. The touchdown pass to Ryan Marcouche gets Eastern on the board. U Pike would respond. Anthony Brown gets in for six right here. A little trickeration. Play action pass. Good for U Pike. EKU trails this thing at one point. 14 to 7, 24 14. Your score at the half. EKU on top. LJ Smith, who was recruited as the quarterback of the future, gets some early PT. He and Swaffer do enough to get the win. 55 14. Your final. Three defensive touchdowns helping the winning effort as well for Eastern. Our Kennedy Hartman was down at the game from start to finish and has more. It's a celebration here at Roy Kidd Stadium, the eighth year in a row EKU has won their home opener. Now the score reflected what we expected. The first half though, not as much. EKU played with their third and fourth string quarterback, came back in the second half strong, figured out a way to dominate U Pike. The adjustments were let's do less. Um, we, we went out and played hard. The guys just went out and, and we did less and, and got more out of that. And they did a great job. I think they caused seven turnovers and had three touchdowns, obviously. So they did a tremendous job. Did a great job. There's no question about it. We needed that because uh, we need those takeaways. We need that spark at times. So there's some things we got to get cleaned up if we want to be the team that we think we're capable of. Uh, we got to get our turnovers cleaned up, and that's that's with me. I've got to make sure that we get that cleaned up. Up next for EKU, they head to Ball State to play the Cardinals Saturday, September 17th. Reporting from Roy Kidd Stadium, Kennedy Hardman, ABC 36 Sports.